Hi there, I'm Aleka. Welcome to my get together. Today we're working on a delicious spanakopita recipe, which is simply a Greek spinach pie. I am going to be adding feta cheese to this spanakopita because, I mean, who doesn't want feta cheese? And without the feta or any cheese, it really is a little bit too dry. So it's going to make it really creamy and delicious. Plus, I'll be adding one secret ingredient that is not typically in your average or traditional spanakopita um, ricotta cheese. So let's get our ingredients together so we can make a Greek spinach pie. There are two ways that you can make spanakopita. On one large sheet pan like this, okay? So you can lay your phyllo dough and you can cut it into squares and that's typically how it's served often in, any, in the Greek culture or the way my family has served it ever since I, you know, I was growing up. My mom would make these um, into little triangles. So these are basically an individual portion version of the large spanakopita made in triangle sized um, phyllo pockets. It's just a delicious recipe. It's super creamy, buttery and just full of flavor. So let's get started. The ingredients we're gonna need for our spanakopita triangles is first feta cheese. Obviously, you want a good feta. I prefer to have my feta in brine, meaning in the water. So if you can find a container, I like Dodoni feta, it's one of my favorites. So you're gonna need about eight ounces of feta. Spinach, about two and a half ounces of chopped spinach. You can do frozen or you can do um, fresh. One third of a cup of ricotta cheese. This is going to make our spanakopita triangle super creamy. Um, and it's something that I added that I really like. Next, we're gonna need about half a tablespoon of lemon juice, one medium onion, one egg yolk. This is gonna help the filling hold together inside of our phyllo. And then of course, our phyllo dough. We're going to need about 16 sheets of phyllo dough. Okay, so I'm gonna use um, about eight ounces of rolled dough. Finally, we're gonna season our filling. My yaya, my grandmother, who, that she would make this a lot, and the filling, for lack of a better word, was a little bit bland, right? So, no, that's actually the perfect word. So, it needs a little bit of flavor, a little salt, a little, little maybe garlic powder, which is exactly what I'm gonna be adding. And then finally, before I forget, Freshly chopped dill. It is one of my favorite ingredients in Greek cooking. If you absolutely hate dill, you can replace it with another fresh herb. I like parsley would be good, even fresh chives. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so first you want to preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? Next, we're going to prepare our onion and we're gonna chop it into a small dice. Okay, now that our onion is all chopped up, we're going to add about two tablespoons of butter to a skillet, set over about medium, medium high heat. Once our skillet is hot, we're gonna add our onions, and we wanna saute these down until they're translucent and softened, so it's gonna take about eight to 10 minutes. We do not want to burn our onions, so if you, can, if you start to see them burning up, turn the heat down a bit. So now that our onions are sauteed, we're going to add our spinach. And we do not want watery spanakopita, so we want to saute it until all the water evaporates. And we're going to let this cool. So now that our spinach mixture is warm or slightly cooled, we're going to add that to our mixing bowl. Next, we're going to add, I mean, it really doesn't matter what we add next, everything has to get in. I'm gonna start with my feta and I'm gonna crumble it up. My ricotta cheese goes in, my egg yolk, my lemon juice, a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, and one teaspoon of salt. And mix it up. I forgot an ingredient, my dill. He almost missed the party. So, our phyllo dough. Don't be intimidated from phyllo dough. It's really forgiving and although it does rip easily, when it bakes up, you won't be able to tell if there's any rips in it. The easiest way to do this is to lightly flour your countertop or whatever surface you're working with, and we're gonna unroll our dough. Now it's very delicate, and the sheets are very, are like paper thin, so we, we do have to be careful, but 
Don't stress out about it. <laughs> I'm gonna lay my phyllo sheet onto my lightly floured surface. Take your melted butter and a pastry brush like this and lightly brush the pastry sheet or the phyllo sheet with your butter. Once we do this, we're going to take a second sheet, lay it on top. Now that we have our second sheet, we're gonna brush or drizzle. Now that it's coated with butter nicely, we're going to take a large knife and we're gonna cut or divide our sheet into thirds. I like to do a pre-cut just to kind of give myself a guide. And you can just cut a third. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to be folding them. Okay, and once we have them cut, we are going to fill them up. Now you're going to add about one to two tablespoons of spinach filling, depending on how thick your strip of phyllo dough is. Either use one and two tablespoons or use a mini ice cream scoop. It makes it super easy. So I'm gonna scoop out a nice chunk of filling on the bottom of each strip of phyllo. Now you don't want to overfill it, but you don't wanna underfill it, okay? So if there's not enough filling in it, it's gonna be very doughy and flaky, but if it's too full, it will seep out. So what, how we fold it. Now the trick of the triangle fold. So we're going to take it and we're gonna fold and line it, line up the bottom edge with the side. So it creates a, this is like a right triangle, right? <laughs> and then we're gonna fold it up, okay? And then we're gonna fold it this way. Side to the right, so up, left, up and then when you get to the end you're going to want to just close it up and the butter will help to keep the dough in place there's our little triangle spanakopia so i'm going to repeat with these and a trick is if you have if you're if you're uh triangle and your dough doesn't line up perfectly that's okay you can brush the triangle with a little bit more butter because it's going to kind of act like a glue and you can just Seal it like a little package. Okay, so I am about to pop these guys in the oven, but before I do, I'm going to brush them again lightly with some butter on top. This is gonna help get that deep golden brown color. Okay, now that these are buttery and filled to cheesy spinach perfection, we're gonna pop them in the oven for about 15 minutes, 12 minutes, Keep an eye on them. It's just important that you put them in the middle of the oven because if you put them on the top, the top is gonna to get burned and the bottom won't and vice versa. So in the middle rack, let's go. Okay, so the Spenacopita triangles are finished and they're looking delicious. You can tell they're super crispy. Watch the this guy when I open it. You see how crispy? They're creamy on the inside and then that. Just adding a little bit of ricotta cheese does help keep it moist so they're not so dry because if you guys ever watched uh, my Big Fat Greek Wedding, it's so dry, right? We don't want the dry food. We don't want anything to be dry because it needs no flavor, right? So you can serve this with um, just as is or even with some tzatziki sauce on the side, which would be delicious and how my family usually serves it. And I think that's it. To get the entire recipe and for tips on how to make these come out perfect every time, visit the link below in the description and make sure to like and subscribe so that you can get more videos on how to entertain with tips and recipes, to make it easier and less stressful for you at home. Happy hosting everybody.